Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to insert rows in SQL Server table by edit table rows graphical user interface. So first of all, open SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and connect with SQL Server instance. So I'm connected with SQL 2016 3 p2 that's my instance name and then go to the databases here we have tech brothers it database we can click a new query and open it and then we need to create a table i have the script right here so create table so i can copy this create table definition and put it here now you see that i'm creating dbo customer table and i have id first name last name age date of birth and salary columns the ID column is identity column. What does that mean? It means uh, the ID, the, uh, the values for ID column will be auto generated. Uh, so we do not have to provide the values for ID column. The starting value will be one and it will increment uh, with one. We have to provide the values for the other uh, columns. So let's go ahead and create this table first. Once the table is created, uh, go to the database. Uh, so in our case, it is Tech Brothers IT. Go to tables and then uh, refresh. And we see DBO customer table right there. Click on a plus sign and expand the columns. You see ID, first name, last name, and all those kind of columns are created. Whatever we have defined in our um, create table statement. Now we need to insert some values. The, in the last video, as I showed you guys how to use a T SQL uh, to insert the values. Here I'm going to show you the graphical user interface. So right click on the user. Uh, DBO customer table and then uh, go to the edit top uh, 200 rows uh, this is the top 200 part this can be top 1000 or top 10 uh, depending upon your settings uh, in uh, SSMS uh, I have a video how to change this setting uh, so watch the videos in chapter 1 about how you want to change this uh, setting so click here as we do not have any data so it did not show us any records here so you see that ID when we have null here and you can see that this is kind of grayed out. That means we can't really provide the value or we don't need to provide value here as it is identity column. So we can gonna go ahead and start with the F name. So that's, uh, let's say my first name Amir and my last name Shehzad. So while you are inserting these values, you will see, oh, okay, what happened? Why this red caution is there? This cell has changed. The change has not been committed to the database, okay? and uh, the original data is the null so that's the message if something goes wrong here the value is not committed yet um, so uh, once uh, we do the age and then finally when we hit enter that's where we're gonna it's, it's gonna commit date of birth let's provide the 1980 something like 0201 um, and the salary maybe I make five thousand um, dollars and 75 cents uh, per month so once I hit enter you see that the red uh, uh, caution sign is gone so that value is committed if I will go ahead and take a look uh, let me select the query use the select query to select the data from now we see that the value is there in the table it is committed so now we can go ahead and uh, write uh, or insert the further values if I will try to insert two here let's say by myself I can't really type anything here so don't worry about typing in a identity column so it's not gonna let you do it but let's say insert John Smith and uh, then um, 33 and uh, let's say if we provide a 0 1 0 1 1 and see if you will even provide that way the value is taken so um, first we inserted the, we provided year uh, month and day that was also inserted and uh, if you insert the other way like you have a, a month a day and year it will be uh, taken in the date column now here you can uh, provide the value whatever let's say 4000 or 434 cents and uh, this will be inserted if I will try to make let's say by mistake I will try to put a uh, uh, single quotes around it if I will do it I will get error invalid value for cell uh, row to column 6 so the change value in the cell was not recognized as valid dot net framework data type decimal that's what the data type of our salary column is uh, numeric 6 comma 2 so we cannot insert uh, the 
uh, quotes for number values. So, okay, type a value appropriate for the data type or press escape to cancel the change. So we can say okay, and then just remove that part and hit enter. If we go back here it, and select the values, and now we should see two values. This is a one way to insert the value. Sometimes we need to correct a single uh, value. And I have seen this part is uh, used uh, by a lot of uh, business analysts and QA people because they do not have the skills. And sometimes they want, okay, we want to have the access to some dev um, data table and where we can make some changes in the database. Uh, so in cases uh, if uh, we a customer table is there, it is for their testing, you are fine. Uh, for some test cases, uh, you, you don't want to run the test cases for them, like sit all day and run 100 test cases, okay, if last name is this, what application should do. So they provide uh, them uh, the permission uh, on this uh, table, and then uh, they will be probably using this part. Uh, and if they need to make change, okay, I'll, if I will change uh, the last name to Shehzad, just this is my one of the test cases where two duplicate uh, uh, last name should not be there so they will make the change and then test their application and say okay it is working or not so as developers you will not uh, use this uh, type of uh, uh, interface uh, in real time a lot but i'm going to show you in a different scenario as well let's say you get the excel file and now you want to insert the entire excel uh, into the table by using this graphical user interface you can do that that's where you might use uh, that this interface uh, as a developer so thanks very much for watching this video and at least you know that how to use a graphical interface and or at least you can teach somebody in QA team or um, business analyst like okay if they need permission on a table they can have it and they can also make the changes uh, in the columns as a graphical uh, interface. So thanks very much for spending time with me and I will see you guys in the next video.